dudes and dudettes. How are you guys? This is Chazzy and welcome back to The Mixer, the very first mixer of 2023. You know the segment on this channel where I give you guys all sorts of detailed analyses from all walks of life. I'll talk about people, places, animals, sports, food, the whole nine yards, you know. I apologize ahead of time if the video seems a little bright. Whenever I wear a black shirt, for some reason, the, the coloring gets a little, the lighting gets a little off, you know, but hopefully it's nothing too insufferable. I mean, the lighting today is pretty good, nice little sunlight, you know, and it's also very silent. It's quiet today, so that's why I'm recording a bunch of videos in a row. And today's video is going to be a concept vlog, which is a term that I coined on this channel, which means a vlog that I come here and just talk to you guys with very limited, if any, editing, you know, so no photos, no videos, just me talking, you know, it's literally a vlog, you know, and hopefully you guys will find the topic interesting because it is something that I actually do enjoy talking about a lot and even researching when I can, you know, and I have done this video before, so it's a remake, you know, because the first time that I did it, my channel was a little different the way that I recorded and edited and set everything up, you know, so I just wanted to remake this one in like a little modern day setting, let's say. And I'm going to be discussing the very complex but often entertaining concept of time traveling, which is used with, uh, which is uh, done using a, you probably guessed it, a time machine, you know. It is obviously the con the scientific uh, concept of, you know, traveling through space and time, you know, either forwards or backwards, you know, to a specific point in the past or in the future. And it can vary for, for, for you can travel, I don't know, a few hours, days, months, years, you know, depends on what you're really aiming for. It is very, very largely used in science fiction, you know, so in books and movies and TV shows and games, you know. Now, the the actual concept of time, fi time fiction, <laughs> time travel was actually, um, it was not exactly created, but it was largely, um, it had a very large, how can I say, a very large spread because of English writer H.D. Wells, you know, who is considered the father of science fiction because of all of his science fiction novels over the years, you know. Specifically, one that was released in 1895. Yes, folks, there was a book released way back then that was already covering the concept of time of time traveling, and it was adequately called The Time Machine, you know. I obviously have never read this book, but I can imagine, you know, what it's like, you know, where he talks about traveling through time. And now, believe it or not, science actually does does somewhat back up the idea of time travel. However, it is uncertain right now with scientific beliefs that if it is possible or not to travel to the past, you know, we do not know if it's actually, you know, feasible to, to go back in time. However, the idea of going forward in time is not only feasible, apparently, but it is explored by science, you know. Now, there are a few um, issues, you know, regarding time travel in general, you know, like, uh, I mean, uh, if you time travel to the past, it may give rise to questions of casualty, you know, maybe it would be deadly. And everybody knows about the whole, uh, if you go back in time and change something, then the future is going to be different, you know, so it can cause a lot of damage. So it's actually very risky. But of course, like I have been saying, it's just science fiction, you know, but uh, it's uh, apparently going forward in time as a well understood phenomenon, you know, that actually has, you know, reasoning within the framework of relativity, you know, whether it's special or general relativity, you know, so science does surprise back up the idea of going forward in time but nobody has ever successfully done so a lot of people claim to do so you know but it's really hard to make a, a, a physical body advance even more than a few milliseconds forward you know it's really complicated and I don't think we have a technology for that yet you know however it is possible to find solutions within general relativity you know of time traveling so maybe for example a, a rotating black hole which as far as we know pulls you in and there's a spaghetti effect and it kills you but I have seen interstellar and maybe Maybe just maybe that it has the concept of a wormhole, the properties of one that you can actually go back in time. But of course, it's just a science fiction movie, you know. But I actually think that it would be really awesome, you know. If you understand anything about theoretical physics, then you probably know about the concept of black holes, you know, which is very heavily explored in science, you know. And it can also be connected with quantum mechanics. You know, it, basically, it's a whole complex thing, but that's not what I'm going to be talking about today. I'm actually going to be getting into the more personal side of things, you know. And I would also like to ask you guys a question, you know, that I will be answering myself. Is that what would you do if you could time travel? What would you do if you had a time machine? What if time travel was possible? What if you could? go back in time or even go into the future you know there are different pros and cons to approaching both of these ideas and I'm going to be discussing what I think about them and hopefully you guys will give me some interesting points in the comments as well 
The concept of traveling to a specific point in time, you know, has actually very limited supply in theoretical physics, you know, it doesn't really explain it too well. However, there are a few factors within it that can actually sort of kind of give a scientific, you know, backing to it, let's say, you know, but basically traveling back in time, we have seen this a lot of different science fiction movies and books, you know, where uh, there's this thing called the butterfly effect, you know, there was actually this movie that was, I, I don't even remember when it was released, I think it was called A Sound of Thunder, it was either a movie or a book or both, I remember I read some form of the book you know don't think i ever saw the movie where uh, a group of researchers go back in time you know and then one of them accidentally steps on a butterfly and they come back to a completely dystopian and ruined future you know because stepping on a butterfly you know in the past something so small can have such a rippling effect through history you know there was even a movie called the butterfly effect starring ashton kutcher but it sucked so bad i kind of dropped out you know when they killed the freaking dog i didn't like that at all that movie sucked but i never watched it i never finished it you know but I imagine that it does explain somehow how, uh, in a way how this works, you know, going back to the past in a way that you can actually interact with it and affect the things around you, you know, can have a lasting effect, you know, the Back to the Future movies actually do this in a comical way, you know, that makes it entertaining and they kind of dumb it down for audiences to understand, but in real life, it would be very, very frightening, you know, it's not like the Harry Potter Pensieve where you can go back in time, but through your memories and you can't actually physically interact and change anything, you know, but actually going back to the past in this capacity would be cool you know because me for example i would definitely use this you know to uh witness events that i couldn't see because i either wasn't born yet or didn't have the chance to go i'm a huge sports fan so right off the bat bro i would go to maybe some world cup finals or champions leagues in association soccer you know rather association football which is also called soccer in america you know so i would definitely see some nba games with the legendary players that i that are deceased today you know i would watch some hockey games some american football games games you know because that's what I would do with the time machine I would I would use it to innocently entertain myself and go back in time and see events that I think would be cool to watch you know without actually interacting and changing the present you know like for example Imagine I go back in time to, I don't know, an NBA game where a player hits a, a game-winning buzzer beater, you know, then I, I don't know, I go on the court and, and, and trip him and then he misses the shot and then suddenly the world changes when I come back here. That would be very scary. It's very frightening, you know, but the idea of going back in time to change something that you did, everybody wishes they could do this, you know, everybody wants to go back in time and fix their mistakes, you know, would I do this? I don't know because like I said if I go back and change something that I didn't want to have happen it would have such an effect on the world today that I don't know if it would be worth the risk you know like go back and, ch and uh, redo major mistakes that I made you know in my younger life or even as an adult you know like undo things that I'm not proud of that had a lasting effect on the damn buzzsaw because every time I go to record videos there is a buzzsaw there is construction Oh my god. I hate this guy so much. This goddamn house has been in construction for five years now. Every, I've been living here for years and that's always been a thing. Just burn down the damn house already. Anyway, um, I would maybe I would consider going back and fixing my mistakes, but they would have a lasting effect on the present, you know, which is going to be the future in the past. So I'm not really sure, but it would be tempting. It definitely would be tempting if I could go back and either manipulate events or go back knowing that it's myself and do things differently. But that would mess with the space time continuing so much, you know, that it would be crazy. Even going forward in time would be trippy because you would go into the future and know what was going to happen and you could come back to the present and react accordingly. You know, like uh, going and seeing like they, they do this in Back to the Future where you go and see different sporting events or things that would happen in the world. And then you come back to the present with an audience and predict what's going to happen. But you know that it's going to happen. Then you can make money by betting and stuff. You know, the temptation is crazy, man. It can, it can go in so many different directions. But the point is that having a time machine is dangerous. It could be fun, but also very, very dangerous. There would, of course, also be the desires to go to events that you couldn't witness, but not necessarily sports related, like a, maybe a... It might be kind of morbid to, to, to say, but I mean, I am actually very curious to witness certain disasters from a viewpoint of somebody who wasn't there, you know, like, but like, this is where it gets complicated. Like, I'm a history buff. I love, you know, researching stuff, you know, not just for coming up with ideas for videos, but also because I'm curious, you know, I like to enhance my knowledge outside of YouTube, you know, but like, I would find it 
not good per se. I would just think it would be a surreal experience to go back in time and witness, for example, the sinking of the Titanic or the eruption of Mount Vesuvius, you know, or even the Hindenburg disaster, you know, because I mean, it's a moment in history that is preserved. There are some of them have footage and photos like the Hindenburg, you know, but, and we only see photos of the aftermath of Pompeii, you know, but like going there today is one thing, but imagine going back and actually seeing it, you know, but that's where it becomes complex. Like, if you go back in time in a physical, you know, uh, let's say, um, in a physical way, like you're actually there and you have the, you have the opportunity to alter time, you know, and do things, you know, wouldn't you have the risk of dying? <laughs> Cause if you go back in time to witness a volcano erupting and destroying a city and you're caught in the middle of it, you're dead. And that's going to mess with the space time continuum nonsense because then you're going to die and you're never going to have existed and then the present you won't and then it's going to just throw a monkey wrench into the whole thing you know but going back like same thing with titanic how where the hell would i observe the titanic sinking like literally on it like like uh, participating in it you know like i would die in the ice cold seas you know and even if i got rescued i'm gonna have to live the rest of my life there you know so it's really scary to think about you going back to a point in time or even forward and a series of mishaps happening that make you get stuck there you know then you have to live off the rest of your days in the past you know and eventually die of old age and then you never technically existed in the present or maybe you did but in a different capacity you know there are so many weird things that i see happening in time travel movies where uh, harry potter played around with this you know where they would time travel a few days or hours before and do something that we saw in the original experience without knowing that it was actually them but we only find out that they had to go back in time because of a certain thing so then what if that actually never happened you see where i'm going with this you know like sometimes an event happens in the past that you you yourself uh, altered but if you don't do it then it's gonna play out differently you know that's why i think it's really hard to talk about time travel but like if i could personally uh go like travel through time whether it's backwards or forwards maybe forward i wouldn't because i actually like the uncertainty that life hands us you know i like not knowing what's gonna happen tomorrow i i like to be surprised so if I know what's going to happen in the in the future, it's gonna take away a lot of the thrill and the suspense and the surprise element when you actually find out yourself, you know? It's much better to go back in time. Imagine going back to, uh, to being able to relive certain moments, you know? Not necessarily change them, but relive them, you know? Like knowing that you're there or just going back to a certain time, you know, just to have an experience that you already loved, you know? But it's very complex to discuss it in a way that would not completely alter the fabric of time, you know? So. If I could go back in time like Harry Potter Pensieve style and just witness something there, you know, that I didn't see the first time, that wouldn't change history and I would have an experience to tell people, you know, like uh, there are these things that are going on right now that I believe are called deep fakes, you know, where you can create things that didn't actually happen and give different experiences, you know. It's not the same, but imagine you going back in a certain capacity and seeing something that almost looks like a deep fake you know maybe you, you wouldn't actually see that i don't know man it's getting way too complicated you know but the idea of time travel it is backed by science you know maybe it will be possible one day probably not in our generation but maybe my kids or grandkids will see you know and maybe they'll go back in time to see me recording this video you know back when their their dad or granddad you know was doing this youtube thing so i don't know man it's really hard to entertain the idea but i do like discussing you know and i do like to entertain the possibility of it being possible the possibility of it being possible wow chazzy that is a fine scientific principle there but anyway that's essentially it guys i've been kind of rambling on for almost 15 minutes now i don't really know what else i can say except that i would like to go back in time you know in a way that would not affect the present or the or the past or the future whatever you know just as a spectator to see things that i would enjoy you know consuming you know I, I don't know so many different events you know parties and stuff movie premieres you know watch them for the first time that would be cool as well festivals and whatnot uh, also concerts i would love to go back in time and like see concerts by artists singers or bands that aren't active anymore whether because they are disbanded or maybe a, a few of them or one of them uh, passed away or something you know would love to go back and see some lincoln park shows when chester was still alive maybe aerosmith and kiss back in their heyday or other bands like pantera when they were still active you know together you know the possibilities are endless man really truly endless you know go back to something video game related back to when a game was released go to a gaming festival you know with 
without actually affecting anything. You know, that would be nice. Complicated, but nice. Now I want to hear from you guys. Let me know in the comments below what you think about this. You know, if you think time travel could ever be possible and what you would do if you had a time machine in the comfort of your home and could go back in time to whatever point you wanted to and do whatever you wanted to. I really want to hear your opinions about this, you know. And if you happen to like this this video, you know, this discussion, give this video a like and also subscribe to my channel. And, uh, and uh, while you're at it, hit the notification. Damn it. Give this video a like. Ah. If you happen to like this video, please go ahead and give it a like and also subscribe to my channel because I release videos every single day. And while you're at it, hit the notification bell too so you can know exactly what time I upload and it's all good. I got I have a I have to memorize the outro but do it every single time. Anyway, guys, this is Chazzy signing out for now. And as always, I will see you guys in the next video. In the future, with the time warp machine thing in there. Roll the outro screen in the present.